Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we're talking over the Dirt Road category's newest circuit to the iRacing service. Rallycross has been desperate for some new content in recent seasons and Charlotte Motor Speedway has come to the rescue with its unique layout. But in doing so, it's taken a unique record away from any other circuit as it becomes the first on iRacing to feature a circuit for every single license category. There is the high speed 1.5 mile speedway with 24 degrees of banking for those who prefer the oval license, the tight and technical roval layout for those on the road license to attack, and the dirt track at Charlotte located just outside of the main speedway also features in iRacing for those who like turning left and throwing some dirt around while they do it. And then in season 1 of the 2021 build, iRacing have completed the full house with a fictional dirt road layout being brought to the simulator. Weighing in at 1.4 kilometers long and 7 turns, the circuit is heavily configured towards dirt sections rather than tarmac, with over 63% of the circuit being loose dirt. Generally, in my track reviews, I'd like to ask the question of, is this track worth your money? Well, before we get into the review, I can already tell you that this circuit is unquestionably worth it. Firstly, because it is, in my opinion, the most fun rallycross track yet, and secondly, and more importantly, well, because this track is free of charge to all users, with Charlotte being included in the base content of the game. Hey, it's hard to complain about that. So, let's dig into the circuit and find out what it's all about. Charlotte's Rallycross configuration has a very rewarding and high-speed flow. It is dominated by camber dirt corners where you have to scrub off a lot of speed on entry, but then build all of that momentum back again on the way out. Those with a very precise touch on the pedals will benefit primarily because of this, as will those who choose to run the Subaru. With this large wheelbase, the Subaru typically has the advantage on fresh dirt in iRacing as it's able to put the power down much nicer than the Volkswagen or the Ford Fiesta. And as a general trend, the Subaru works better on the higher speed circuits too. Turn 1 and 2 are enjoyable as a combination as you effectively treat the corner as one long, sweeping, double apex right-hander, with speeds never dipping below 100 km an hour while sideways and heading towards a wall at the midpoint of the corner. I'm pretty happy to say this is already my new favourite corner in Rallycross. I'm sorry, Dong Slide. Don't hurt me. The circuit features just one jump, although not the biggest on the platform by any means. You do need to be precise on the exit of turn 2 though, very similarly to Atlanta Long's jump section as too much corner exit speed will see you running too far to the left on takeoff and having an embarrassing end to your lap. Turn 3 is a little bit of a nothing corner in all honesty as it's a very basic right-hander leading onto a tarmac straight. Nothing too flash here but up comes the fun part. Turn 4 is up next and you begin turning into the corner before a small crest, so you won't even know if you've got your turn in point correct or not until it's too late to do anything about it. Hug the inside wall the entire way through this fantastically banked third gear corner, which could serve as an overtaking opportunity into turn number 5. Another right-handed corner comes up next with no banking this time around, so getting the correct line is very important to your lap speed. The corner seems to go on forever and you want to begin turning out of the corner very late, so patience will be key here to getting this corner correct. After this, the circuit completes itself by returning to the Charlotte Roval sequence of the track back to the finish line. Unless, of course, you decide to take the Joker. The Joker at Charlotte is pretty sketchy as you're faced between an anti-cut curb and a tyre wall to thread your way through on entry. After the high speed entry is done, you slow yourself down as the Joker merely utilises the NASCAR Roval pit exit to rejoin the primary circuit. A 2.6 second time loss compared to a regular lap means it will throw up some exciting strategy choices as well as the potential for a drag race to the finish as the two lines find their way side by side across the finish line. Charlotte has an incredible flow that anybody from rookie to pro will have an incredible time driving. To end the video, I'll leave you all with my hot lap in the freshly painted Logitech G Altus Esports Ford Fiesta RS, where I achieved a lap time of 42.4. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for the support recently and thank you for watching as well. And if you did enjoy, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below for some more Iris and content reviews, news and discussion. I'm Bo Albert, I'll see you all in the next video.
when it comes to her. 